The following is one in a series of authentication studies presented by John Resnikoff and University Archives. In part two of this JFK authentication series, we'll discuss authentic examples of John F. Kennedy's signature in a number of formats. This letter is a perfect example of an authentic Kennedy signature penned as a young senator in 1953. Notice the hard angle of the connection line between the O and the H. Also, even though this example shows the stuttering that Secretary 3 tried to imitate, it's much less pronounced and there is less space between the disconnected letters. Here is a wonderful example of a signature acquired from JFK in person. Note the apparent speed with which he signed. There is also great provenance. The handwriting above the signature is of famed Kennedy collector, friend and mentor of John Resnikoff, Robert L. White. Here is another example of a pre-presidential Kennedy signature, most likely executed in person. There are many similar looking forgeries out on the market, but they never quite get the speed nor the distinctive curve of an authentic JFKY. This is an early presidential photo with a long inscription. Note the angle of the J and how it does not fall all the way into the H. Also, the middle initial F does not have the telltale loop at the bottom of the vertical line as in the Secretary 1 examples. The inscription is also very important in assigning authenticity. It's bumpy and inconsistent and almost illegible. All signs of an authentic JFK. Believe it or not, fewer secretarial signatures exist on presidential letters than in earlier periods of JFK's career. This authentic signature on White House letterhead reflects the speed, angle, and illegibility that we've come to expect in genuine examples. Also note JFK's perfect crescent formed by the disconnected Y. Here is an official document signed by President Kennedy in 1962. While it does not have the same angle as many authentic JFK signatures from the period, it appears Kennedy reduced the angle of this signature to conform to the horizontal calligraphy of this important certificate. All the other authentic characteristics previously mentioned are present here. This amazing letter relates to Marilyn Monroe's birthday salute to President Kennedy at Madison Square Garden. Happy birthday, Mr. President. The variant J and the ink skipping in the characteristic crescent Y show the speed in which the busy president must have signed this. This letter is truly a treasure. Happy birthday. This letter was signed in late 1962 and has all the earmarks of authenticity previously discussed. Making this letter easy to authenticate is this postscript, which is barely legible. It is extremely unusual to see a Kennedy letter with a postscript or a handwritten correction that is not indeed authentic. This concludes this exclusive illustrative study on JFK signatures. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation and that it helps add to your enjoyment and knowledge as your collection grows. Be sure to review this video again as you evaluate Kennedy material on your own. Also, be sure to visit universityarchives.com for other informative studies, videos, and examples of authentically signed JFK letters, documents, and photos.